work, work. It comes in many forms. Machines do it, people do it, we sometimes love it, sometimes hate it, but usually can't avoid it because we all do some kind of work every day. Work is not even confined to machines and humans. Any animal that moves something from one place to another does work. But how do you measure work? What do you call work? Your definition of work may be quite different from that of a technician. For example, homework is not work. In fact, thinking, no matter how difficult, is not work in a technical sense. Why? Because thinking only changes your mind. For a technician, work is done when force causes a change in the system. So controlling work is controlling what the force does. Uh, the uh, 4200 model Prab robot's a relatively simple uh, robot. Uh, you'll find a lot more sophisticated machinery on the market, but this is easy to maintain, it's cost efficient, and it's strong. It's durable. It operates at about, four, uh, at about approximately 700 uh, pounds per square inch of hydraulic pressure. Uh, it's not a very smart robot. When the control uh, drum tells it to do something, it continues doing it until it literally hits something and to make it stop. And that's what that's what that's how we control the the actions, vertical and horizontal, for a Prab robot. We actually run it into a stop, a mechanical stop. And by varying and by adjusting these stops, we can, we can get surprisingly accurate. The robots do work in two ways. First, they use force to move the parts a distance. Then they use torque to rotate through an angle. When Bob Lala adjusts the stops, he's controlling a very powerful force and how that force acts over a distance. Using force to move something a distance is work in a mechanical system. Work in a fluid system is done when pressure moves a volume of liquid or gas. And in an electrical system, voltage does work moving an electric charge. In each case, force or something that acts like force causes some kind of change or movement. To measure the amount of work, simply multiply the force by the change. So for things like homework, thinking doesn't count as work. The only work being done in a technical sense is that done when your muscles move something. So is work being done here, or here, or here? Not technically, because nothing changed. Voltage, force, pressure and torque alone are not enough. Now work is being done. Work is only done when something moves or changes. Another important thing about work is the fact that time is not part of the formula, only force and distance. So that means that this tractor does the same amount of work moving the aircraft a distance as the aircraft itself does when it rolls the same distance under its own power. The jet engines do the work a lot faster, but the amount of work is still the same. The same is true of these two people. As long as they have the same weight, believe it or not, they're both doing the same amount of work because they both raise their bodies the same height. Work. It only happens when force or something that acts like force causes something to move, turn, flow, or change shape. And if you feel that you're working too hard, try getting some help.
from gravity.